Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, today I have this Samsung phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime, and it's getting stuck on the Google lock screen. So I'll switch it on right now. I'll show you how to fix it. It's really quick fix. Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. Switching on. So if you have this on any other phone. You can use this fix, it will also work on um, a tablet as well, as long as you have the same um, Android version probably, because different uh, phones have different versions. Now this one, it starts with this welcome screen, and there's a button over here that says accessibility. If you have this accessibility button over here, um, this is going to work for you. Then I'll just show you what the message is um, showing there, where I'm getting stuck. Let's click on start. Now it's going to ask you to connect to your Wi Fi network. I've already connected to my first network here. It's alright, so do it. Just click on done. So it's already connected. Just click on next. Just agree to the terms and conditions. Click on next again. Now it's going to check connection. Now while it's checking the connection, it's going to show up the, the Google lock screen where the problem is because this phone belongs to a friend who forgot the email address and the password that he registered or signed in for the first time so it says that this device was reset to continue sign in with the google account that was previously synced to on this device okay so because we don't know what the uh, email address and password is we'll just leave this i just want to show you that uh, when I'm selecting the, the text over here, okay, a lot of people they show that you can just highlight the text over here, click on share and it will open up the browser. So it doesn't really work on this one. Anyhow, let's click on back. Let's back. Let's go back, let's go back. Yeah, so this is the screen that we are supposed to be on. Now the main idea to fix this is uh, that you are supposed to open up a web browser even though you're locked in this uh, phone. So click on accessibility, when you click on accessibility just scroll down and there's an option here that says talk back. It's switched off, that's great, just click on it. You don't have to switch it on, just click on the settings button on the top. When you click on settings, scroll down and after you scroll down you will see privacy policy click on privacy policy now over here you don't set do not, do not select Chrome select the basic local browser that's the internet click on just once and we will have the browser opened up so as you can see that the browser is open okay so once the browser is open you're supposed to type in over here in the address bar just type in L A V I L E Z T E C H and then services S E R V I C E S. So once you type in Level Tech Services, it will open up the first page. That's a download link. They, I'm not affiliated with this website in any way, it's just a website that will allow you to download our application to simulate the home screen so just click on this uh, link here scroll down now you will see a couple of applications that you can download just keep scrolling to number 12 okay once you get number 12 it says Andos launcher apk great let's click on it and it says click to download let's click on it and it says starting download that means the download it's starting to download right now now great now how do we access our files just click on bookmarks okay click on history and there you go download history once you click on download history you will see that the application that we just downloaded it's right here click on it Okay, now it says install block. It says for security reasons your device is currently set to block installation. That's fine, just click on settings and just allow it. Check this option over there. And then click on next, install. 
and the Apex launcher is installing on our phone which is great just give it a minute okay fantastic it's already installed let's click and open and there you go the main screen is there but this is not the end it's still not completed we need to reset the phone first so let's go to the settings of the phone now you can see this is just a simulation right now it's an apex menu apex settings we need to reset the phone in order to use it so uh, let's go to backup and reset okay and the personal and it says factory data reset and then reset device and delete all now once the phone restarts now first of all it will just reset everything on the phone okay let's just give it a minute so whatever the account is linked the Google account it will be reset from the phone through this step so you can see it's erasing right now which is good so let's hope this works for us so while it's doing it just just the only thing that you're supposed to do in order for any sort of uh, these unlocks to work is open up the browser once the browser is open up in your phone uh, you can just type in um, that the link that I've um, showed you there the level tech services download the number 12 it will work on any phone and you just need to reset it but this is this is the easiest way I've, I've, I wasn't able to find any easier way on the on YouTube or anywhere this is something that a lot of people would be helped out with so just make sure guys that if it really works for you just show your love like subscribe for to my channel and let's wait for it to come up and let's see what happens it's still working on it it is something great okay come on Samsung you can do good let's do it man anyhow in the meanwhile while it's coming up you guys can check out my other videos as well um, and what else I'm pretty sure this is gonna work for us I've, I've, I've tried this on uh, one of my tablets as well I had a Lenovo Yoga it worked there anyhow so we're back on that screen again where we started let's click on start okay now this time it's not connected to uh, the uh, Wi-Fi let's connect okay and type in the password Connect. Says obtaining IP address. Fantastic. Okay, that's all right. Just click on done. It's connected. Click on next. Accept the terms and services. Next again. Now this is the moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. It says checking connection. This can take a few while. This can take a while. I'm sorry. It's connected to the network now if the same screen comes up over here that means it's not fixed but if it says enter a new email address that's when the moment of truth is software update okay I'm pretty positive it's gonna work for us okay this is a new screen it says quickly copy any Google accounts if you just skip it come on there you go regularly check devices and uh, okay no problems just a second the moment of truth guys there you go sign in to get the most of your device fantastic so as you can see that the message is gone now so click on skip we don't need it anymore skip it 
you can you can sign into the account if you wish but just for the showing it I'm gonna skip all the steps over here skip anyway more next come on okay we're gonna just skip this as well you can always go to the settings and set up your uh, initials there but anyhow right now there you go it's all working and you can see that right now it doesn't say anything like apex settings or apex home this is the main um, the phone is working now you can go to settings you can go to about device and you know, everything is working perfect and fantastic here alright guys so as I said if it worked for you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and show your support thanks a lot I will try to put more videos for other other versions of Android as well. Alright, have a good one. Cheers.